Alright, what's going on guys? Boy TG, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to give a few takeaways of some of the stuff that happened during the first week of this NHL season. So, I want to start off with the back-to-back -back hat tricks for Austin Matthews becoming the first player since Alex Ovechkin to get back-to-back -back hat tricks to start the season. So Austin Matthews, he had the hat trick uh, in the Maple Leafs season opener and home opener against Montreal in the 6-5 shootout win. And then getting another hat trick in the 7-4 win versus the Minnesota Wild. So, and he scored his 300th goal in that first game against the Montreal Canadiens. So it was great to see him get goal number 300. But what's even more great is to see the back-to-back -back hat tricks. I've never seen somebody, like like, like I said, since Alex Ovechkin in 2017-18 to get back-to-back -back hat tricks in uh, multiple games. So six goals to start the year for Austin Matthews. Unbelievable. He did win the Rocket Richard. Um, I think during the 2021-2022 season. So, is it too early to say that he will score 50 or 60 goals this year? Is it too early to say that? It might be too early to say that. But, hey, he's off to a great start with the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, um, yeah, and one of the best players on the Maple Leafs to watch. He's a goal scorer for sure. And number two, Connor Bedard gets his first NHL point in his debut. So, we got to see Connor Bedard in action on opening night in Pittsburgh when my Chicago Blackhawks took on Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins. He got to be, he got to play against his childhood hockey player growing up, Sidney Crosby. An unbelievable game to watch. I will rewatch that game again because, like I said, great game to watch. For Conor Bedard, I mean, we have to say goodbye to two Chicago legends, uh, Jonathan Tage and Patrick Kane, and welcome in the Conor Bedard era. And he also scored his first NHL goal, which was another takeaway I had for the first week of this NHL season. So, he didn't score any, his first NHL goal in his debut. Let me make that clear. He didn't score his first NHL goal in his debut. I would have loved to see him score in his debut. In fact, I would have loved to see a four-goal game from Connor Bedard in his NHL debut, just like Austin Matthews did in his NHL debut. But unfortunately, it did not happen. So 24 hours later after his debut, he scored his first NHL goal on a wraparound um, against the Boston Bruins. And then um, he got an assist, um, uh, his second assist against the Montreal Canadiens. So it's going to take some time for Conor Bedard to settle in. I mean, he's not in the WHL no more. He's not playing for the Regina Pats. He's in the NHL playing for my Chicago Blackhawks. So it's going to take some time to settle in with the new team, new atmosphere. You guys know what I'm saying. Uh, number four, not really a takeaway, but I want to talk about the Red Wings new go horn. I mean, this was the go horn, I think, that they used at Joe Louis Arena when it was still around. It's not around no more because they tore it down. Um, and Darren McCarty was hyping the crowd up. P.S. you guys don't know Darren McCarty. He did play in the NHL. He did play for the Detroit Red Wings and won a Stanley Cup. He probably won two Stanley Cups. With the Detroit Red Wings. So, he's a Stanley Cup champion. Two-time Stanley Cup champion, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But, uh, he's a two-time Stanley Cup champion with the Detroit Red Wings. If I am wrong about that, guys, please correct me in the comments. Uh, but I believe he won two Stanley Cups with the Detroit Red Wings. So, he was hyping up the crowd in the Red Wings home opener against the Detroit Red Wings. And played the goal horn, too, for the Detroit Red Wings. The goal song... Is from Eminem. 
Uh, the gold song is from Eminem. I know some people were like having a problem with it. I think I saw one person commenting about the gold horn song. So yeah, guys, if you don't know, the gold song is from Eminem. It's from his song Without Me. Saying now this looks like a job for me. Everybody just firing me. It's a little bit controversy, but it feels so different without me. Now this looks like a job for me. Everybody just vibing me a little, might get a little controversy, but it feels so different without me. Yeah, that song right there from Eminem. Um, his the song is called "Without Me" from Eminem, so that's the Go Horn song uh, for the Detroit Red Wings. It's the chorus is kind of catchy in the song too. So you guys know what I mean. Um, number five, the Lucas Raymond hit. Uh, that sent the Tampa Bay Lightning player Michael Eastmont. Hopefully, I pronounced that name, that last name right. But yeah, let's talk about that here. I mean, he sent him into the Red Wings bench with his skates facing up. I'm surprised nobody got cut with the skates because when he laid that huge hit, he was in the Red Wings bench and his skates were facing up, like they were facing up. Uh, but like I said, nobody got sliced in the face with the skates. So thank God they were okay. Um, but Michael Eastmont, hopefully I pronounced that name right. Um, that last name right. He got back up and got to play. But like I said, thank God nobody did not get hurt on the Red Wings bench. It was all good. So that is great to see. Um, speaking of hits... Next hit, uh, Rasmus Dahlin threw a hip check into Philip Phillips Zito. So it was a game between the Rangers and Sabres. P.S. I do have the Sabres making the playoffs. I believe they could end their long year drought making the playoffs. But anyway, Rasmus Dahlin, who signed a seven-year contract deal with the Buffalo Sabres, um, he did a huge hip check on Philip Zito. It was old-time hockey right there. It was a vintage hockey hit right there to see. And speaking of the Rangers, number seven, I have Jacob Truba, save of the year. Rangers taking on the Blue Jackets. And Patrick Laine was trying to do a wraparound around the net or trying to tuck it in past Igor Shosturkin. He thought he had scored, but it was waved off. Jacob Truba did get a stick on it, so he did keep the puck out of the net. That could have been a potential candidate for save of the years. You guys know what I mean. So it was a great play from Jacob Truba. Keep the puck out of the net. He, it was a diving play, so um, he's a great defenseman to watch for the New York Rangers, and he shows his leadership ability right there. He is the captain of the New York Rangers, by the way. So... Um, yeah, but number eight, Colt Caulfield, that goal against the Chicago Blackhawks. I mean, that was a beautiful goal from Colt Caulfield. I mean, he went around uh, the defender, the Blackhawks defender, and tried to put it into the net, and he did. And he also did a nice celly afterwards, so I do. I did like that celly from Colt Caulfield. He's going to have a breakout season for sure. If you guys missed my video on my top 10 NHL players that I feel like will have a breakout season. I did say Cole Caulfield was one of them. So you want to go back ahead. You want to go back and watch that video, uh, by the way. And last but not least, Brock Besser, four-goal game for the Vancouver Canucks, which the Canucks laid the smackdown beating on the Edmonton Oilers 8-1. to 8-1 to one was the final. The Oilers got... Um, the hands, hand, Oilers got uh, crumbled in that game. I mean, they could not win that game. They got hammered. They got destroyed. They got crumbled. Whatever word you want to use, that's what they got. And we did get to see a four-goal game from Brock Besser uh, from the Vancouver Canucks, which will lead the Canucks to the 8-1 win. Also, Thatcher Demko, he had the flu in the game, so he could not pull off a Michael Jordan moment. He did leave the game. He ended up vomiting his mask, so hopefully he's okay. Uh, after that, he did have the flu, so was unable to finish the game. So couldn't do what Michael Jordan can do, so he had to end up leaving the game. 
But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. So let me know what you guys think of the first uh, week of the NHL season. Is it what you expected? Is it not what you expected? What did you like from the first week of the NHL season? There's lots more to look forward to this season, but we got the first week out the way. If you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like, hit it with a subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.